Hello and welcome. I'm Nathan for two and this time we'll be trying to print a fidget cube. So after printing the fidget spinner, there's a different thing that people also use. This is the fidget cube. These things are similar but have small tasks on each side which allow you to keep your hands or hands busy. They look quite nice, solid and awesome. They normally have some buttons to press or to mess with. If it helps kids or adults keep their focus, then fair enough let it be. Anyway, the one that I printed in the section below, I did the first print off as you can see here. It printed, but it didn't go too well. Look, it's tiny. Um, this was at five scale. It looks tiny on the belt board anyway, um, but I didn't think it would be this small. Um, so we reprinted it again, and this is that. Welcome back. So you have just seen the print of the uh, cube. Here it is. Uh, so we have the, the, the main bit, which is this part, which seems to have actually come out pretty well, apart from the base. The base is not very neat at all. That is something I need to look at with my printer. I'm not sure what actually causes the base to be so crappy. Um, and you know, not, not very connected that well. But all the rest of it has come out quite well. Uh, even the top isn't that bad. The top is uh, pretty good. It's a nice solid cube. You can't can't squeeze it and break it very. You probably could if you put enough pressure onto it, but I certainly can't right now. Here is the other bit. It comes with two parts and a flat edge here. This flat edge is what you glue this to. This is a little maze kind of thing. Um, I, I should have probably put that part on the bottom, but there is also questionable parts like the middle of the spindle, which probably wouldn't have printed um, if I did that. And also this little stem here, which printed upright. So that probably wouldn't have worked properly if I did it that way as well. But I mean, saying that, they could have switched them around so that this flat bit was on the bottom and then it wouldn't have matter how the base printed because uh, the base on both of these parts would be stuck together and you'd never see it. But maybe that's just an issue with my printer anyway so it doesn't really matter too much for everyone else. Um, so yeah, this S thing here, we printed out the second part of the print as you would have seen. Um, we got three extra bits. Uh, this is a little knob thing that goes into the little maze. Tolerances on this are pretty pretty bad actually, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this might just be my printer, again, I don't know. We now have the little knob bit on here and you, you're you supposed to just kind of twist it around or whatever. Um, if I was to print it again, I'd maybe print that bit with a slightly wider base or, or maybe I could scale it up to 13 instead of 12. Um, but yeah, there we go. That would be about that part. Um, so I'm going to leave that part off because I can't glue it right now. Uh, we have the this part here, which is a rocker switch. Now, that's supposed to connect to this nice little tube in here. So let's see how that goes. I'll, push, I'll put it in. It, kinda, it does sit there nicely. We'll push it down and... I mean, it sits there, it does probably what it's supposed to, but hey, I mean, I printed it, so <laughs> I suppose it's not too bad, but um, it doesn't click in, which is what I would have kind of liked about it, would have been if it was, if it actually clicked in and kind of held itself there, because right now, if I've got that out like that, you can just kind of 
pull it off and it's not really that that difficult to do. I don't know, maybe oh, it does click in. It probably would stay there, but I'd be worried that that would just fall off in my pocket if I was to use it as an actual um, cube. <clears throat> I don't actually have a cube now uh, bef before this, so this is actually my first one. Uh, my brother uh, has one, so I mean, compared to his one, this one is not very, not very strong and stable. <laughs> like, that trees me. So I got the spindle thing on top in this um, in this little disc, um, and oh, do okay. <laughs> I put it in there. I don't know if it's going to come out again. It might be good if you do, if you do this one yourself. It might be best to add some grease to the spindle before you put this on, um, because it, it does seem like it might not come back out again, <laughs> and that would not be good. That would not be good. Um, ah no, I can I can pull it out. I put it back out. It's fine. Um, here's the spindle, and here is the base. I just kind of pop it in there like that. And you can just click it proper down into it. That's good. You're supposed to be able to spin that quite freely. And I find that I can't spin it whatsoever. So it might just be shaved down a little bit in post, I suppose. You can you can just kind of shave away a quarter of a millimeter at each corner of it or whatever, or on the surround of it. And that will probably work. Um, uh, actually, if you kind of force it around, maybe it will work as expected. Yeah, if you kind of if you kind of force it around, it will it will, it will move around. It's not going to be like the ones that you fidget with on the other fidget cubes. So yeah, that's my fidget cube. Um, I'll glue it together and get a nice shot of it afterwards. But that is uh, what it does and how it looks. So. Yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think. If you like it, uh, give me a thumbs up um, and tell me something else to print and try. Uh, I've got a few things on the list that I want to do. So that's a couple of weeks worth of uh, content ready for you. Uh, this stuff does take quite a long time to actually record, edit and prepare. And mainly edit actually takes freaking ages. This part right now is unscripted as you can probably tell because I'm going on and off about everything. So yeah. I don't know. Tell me, do you prefer the scripted content or the non-scripted content? I don't know. The non-scripted content is definitely longer, but it does include me rambling a lot more. So, yeah, whatever. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me think. Follow me on Twitter. That's at 42 And thanks for watching.